Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. Rihanna is the latest celebrity to mock Christianity with her nun-themed outfit. As Fox News reported, the singer's provocative outfit was for a cover of Interview magazine. It was a play against the devout Catholic woman who have sworn to a life of celibacy and following God. Wearing a plunging neckline and heavy makeup with a black and white habit is far from the normal attire that nuns adhere to. Yet this is the look Rihanna chose for her next feature image. Rihanna has received backlash on social media for the look. Some have called the look disgusting and poor in taste. She is not the first major celebrity to come out in this type of attire that blatantly mocks Christianity. Sam Smith dressed up as the devil for the Grammys in 2023 and little Nas X has had to apologize for his recent J. Christ video that was a part of what he called his Christian era. When I did the artwork, I knew there would be some like upset people and whatnot, simply because, you know, religion's a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock, Nas said. Who can also forget the day when Ice Spice brought Satan with her to the Super Bowl as she wore an upside-down cross, making satanic hand gestures throughout the game. This happened in the company of her friend, Taylor Swift, who has also had a history of uplifting Satanism. This just goes to show that celebrities should not be the ones we look up to for our spiritual guidance. There's a reason that Hollywood is being exposed for engaging in dark practices for the sake of greater fame. Mark 8.36 tells us, for what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Just because others have sold their souls for fame and fortune does not mean that we should follow in these footsteps. Instead, Christ has heavenly treasures stored up for those who seek his kingdom first. Quote, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Second Peter 3, 3-7 This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.